Kingdom! Today we're here to talk about some upcoming VR games that I am hyped out of my mind for. So, as I said in the intro there, I am here to talk about 10 games that I am really excited to play in 2020. The upcoming games for the rest of the year. Now, like, these aren't in any particular order, guys. They're not in the top tier 10 list of things I want, going from things I don't care about to things I do care about. No, 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 no. These are just 10 games that I have picked that I personally am really looking forward to coming out. If I've missed anything that you think should be here, present, me talking about them in a the video, I would love you to drop me in the comments down below. Always good to get feedback always good to learn what you guys are looking forward to too to to whatever also ps look at this bad boy Ooh, the merch hat oh every king deserves a cap you can go and get yours link down below literally down, down below this video you can click it purchase one for you <laughs> now the first game that I want to talk about, let's talk about a big one first shall we? Stride. Oh my days I'm looking forward to this game. The free running freedom of a Mirror's Edge type game. Oh baby. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm, no joke, I'm freaking hyped out of my mind for this. A story driven park or game in virtual reality. Battle enemies in a quarantine metropolis. Experience the feeling of vertigo as you stream between buildings and rooftops flowing across balconies in your effort to save the city. Now yes, I'm reading the bio for the game. <laughs> I haven't played this yet, but in all seriousness, everything about this looks very good to me. I first saw this pop up on Twitter and I instantly jumped on board with this. It's coming from Joyway. They've actually made a few other little fun type games. Uh, and yeah, if, they, if their reputation has anything to go by, this should be pretty darn decent. And it's coming out this year. I'm excited for it, as I'm sure many, many people are, to play a true free running game in VR. Mama Zita. The next game I'm looking forward to, guys, is Rocking Hero. Now, probably like many of you, for me, Guitar Hero back in the day was the ting. The ting a ling a ding ding. I love playing Guitar Hero. I spent one summer mastering through the fire and the flames, kicking ass in it, and making sure I got 100% score. So I have a lot of good memories of this style of game. They seem to have died off lately. Um, you know, band guitar hero -y type games it just seems to have died off lately um, and now we have this coming back in with the mix oh bringing your air guitars back into the mix I'm kind of excited for this next is house flipper VR man I loved house flipper I played it a lot on the channel actually on this channel before it became a VR channel I used to play this game oh it was fun and no joke I enjoyed just plowing like an hour or two into this when I just want to chill out and do absolutely nothing it's a fun game to lose yourself to uh, if you're unfamiliar with house flipper it's quite literally what it is you are flipping houses dudes not because you're muscle strong but because you are you know doing it up selling it on that's the idea do up a house sell it on do up a house sell it on most of what I'm seeing here looks pretty freaking sweet man they've got a bit of a cartoonier feel to it than the original game and just all around looks pretty fun man I like the idea of just schmoozing around in VR doing up a house spraying up a wall you know building some stuff why not sounds fun to me the walking dead onslaught oh now this is a sassy game that I've been looking forward to coming out for quite some time it's been pushed back a few times so you know I wouldn't be that surprised if it didn't come out this year but I'm hoping to and I have said it will do um is the Walking Dead Onslaught. I can't wait for this game, man. It should be a freaking blast. Now, yes, we've already had a Walking Dead title come out this year and it was a blast and a load of fun, but this one takes place within the actual Walking Dead universe that you're familiar with. You can go hang out with Rick and the gang and kill some zombies, and apparently it's gonna be a bit more story-driven, which I'm quite excited for. They have released quite recently that they're now going to switch up instead of being a multiplayer game, which was supposed to be originally, they've now said they're going to focus on it being a single player story driven game. Doesn't bother me personally. I've seen a lot of people bitching about it because they want to get in with their friends. Obviously, it would be fun, but I'm kind of more up for a game that isn't just a wave shooting fucking House of Dead style game and switches up to a more story driven game. I wasn't that over enthused with the story that was in the original Walking Dead. Uh, hack and slash so I'm kind of looking forward to this and I hope that this is going to give you a better story and for me being a Walking Dead fan I'm also looking forward to hanging out with the crew the Walking Dead crew Blunt Force is the one that's next up on the list I'm looking forward to this I have played the demo for it it's on the channel 
Uh, and I've spoken to developers about this as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff like free locomotion and so on and so on that's coming to the game, which wasn't there in a demo and will be when it comes out in full release. I'm really looking forward to this. In this one, you play as a dude in the World War II. You'll be going through two parallel storylines, one where you'll solve puzzles, one where you'll kick the living poop out of soldiers on the opposing force. Uh, coming to a conclusion to save the world, I'm only assuming. But it looks really fun to me, I can't wait for it, and absolutely, this is going to be something that I'm going to enjoy playing and 100% will be bringing to the channel, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Next game I'm looking forward to is Undead Citadel. 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 I'm just going to put it on screen probably saying it wrong. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this game and I have been following this one for a really, really long time. So I'm excited for this, man. It just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're into your Blade and Sorcery, I think you're going to enjoy this type of game. Basically, get in there, slap, slash, dash, cut, and destroy your enemies. Hordes of undead bastards that you will be dismembering and defeating in your incredible journey through this adventure. I'm looking forward to this one. It looks flipping beautiful. It's been being in development for quite some time now, so I can only assume that they just keep making it better and better and better. So I'm really, really excited for this one to drop. I can't wait for it. Definitely one to get on your wish list. The next one I'm proper hyped for is After the Fall. Now this comes to you from the creators of Arizona Sunshine, so you know they're pretty credible. That game is done very well for itself, so I'm only assuming that this one will do just the same thing. Now, this comes to you in an epic FPS first-person co-op game, so you can get in with your mates again and destroy some zombo scum. Uh, up to four players as far as I'm aware, and that's going to be pretty badass to get in with a bunch of mates and kick the living crap out of some zombo scum. So, I mean, can you really go wrong with that type of game? I don't think so, man. You're going to be killing zombos in an ultra weird world that's set like 20 years after an apocalypse in LA. So, uh, yeah, and it's snowfield, which is going to be kind of cool. I like the sound of that. It's going to be bright, it's going to be vibrant, and it's going to be kick ass. Next on the list is Lone Echo 2. I cannot cannot wait for this game to drop, man. Uh, it's been held off and held off and held off and held off and held off for too long. But nonetheless, it should be coming this year at some flipping point and I can't wait for it, man. I've said previously in so many videos, the first one was a piece de resistance. Beautiful, baby. I loved the first one. It was probably one of my all time favorite VR games I've ever played because it was just so damn immersive and ahead of its time, quite honestly. Um, so I'm looking forward to the second part of that coming out. If it, if it, oh man, if it hits the same way the second one did, I don't even know how to explain to you. If you don't know what Lone Echo is, you play as a robot in outer space where you help a lady on her travels of figuring out what the f went wrong with everything. I won't swear. I shouldn't swear. This is not a sweary video. And you basically go through an incredible story where you are just immersed in an outer space world with a movement scheme that just was frankly beautiful and I just I can't wait to get back into that universe and, and play part two. It's gonna be fun. Next one up on my list is Medal of Honor. Man, Medal of Honor VR is looking like it's gonna be pretty flipping fun. I played the Medal of Honors as a kid uh, and it's kind of exciting that they're going to sort of revamp that universe and bring it back to us. I'm excited guys. Another World War type firing, shooting, blah blah blah, kill some Nazis, fun. Uh, that was a weird sentence but excuse me, don't worry about it. Um, basically it's your same old FPS fire and shooter and kill 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 stuff but it's going to be set in that universe which I think is going to be fun. And from what I can see it just looks like it's going to be a blast. Not a lot's come out about it at the moment. But for what I've seen, it looks real nice. Final one. Mm. I'm looking forward to Star Wars Squadrons. I don't care what you have to say about this. I'm excited personally. Whew. It's going to be good. It's going to be damn fine. If they get this right, it's going to be a game that I will go back to time and time again and enjoy endless hours of fun in. I love the idea of getting in a spaceship and flying around. It's one of the things I loved about No Man's Sky VR. Uh, I've never played, well actually now I tell a lie, I have played a bit of EVE online uh, in VR and that was super fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to it, man. A, being in the Star Wars universe. B, looks like it's a frickingly well-made game. 
Um, I'm not sure how the controlling system is going to work in here. I do believe that they've said it's going to be on a controller based thing, so I can get used to that, I guess. If they can support some joysticks, then man, I'll get on some joystick fun. Uh, that'll be f weird sentences. So many weird sentences in this video, but if they do, then I would love that. But most importantly, man, it's just going to be good. The fact that they're going to fully release this cross platform epic title that can be played in VR, flat screen, however you want to play it is going to have an availability to you, to me, to anybody. So I'm looking forward to that one, man. And we'll have to get some squads together on the channel. I'm thinking a bit of a channel meetup. Get in there, kick some ass. It will be sick. So anyway, guys, they are the games that I have picked that I'm personally excited for. I wanted to make this quite snappy, this video, so I didn't want to go on about each game too long. Please do go ahead and check out any of them that you're interested in. Do some investigation. Slap them on your wish list, and that'll be that. I will list all of these down if uh, if I haven't been clear. I will list them all in the description so that you can go see the full list. And I don't know, not even watch the video if you don't want to. Uh, if you watch to this point, then hey, <laughs> you have. You really are part of the kingdom. Uh, okay, if you have watched this part of the video, type down below monkey. And I will know that you made it this far in the video. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do smash the like button. Subscribe this type of content on the channel. Subscribe to this type of content? Well, yeah, I guess so. Words. Not coming easy to my brain right now. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. And of course, go check out the new merch, guys. There's this. We have the RDK t-shirts, which isn't this one. This is a Star Wars t-shirt because I'm excited about Star Wars. Not really. It's just what I picked out the drawer this morning. Um, you can go check out all the merch, it is listed down below on Teespring, you can get the new hat, there is a new Reister King t-shirt supporting the new avatar of Reister King. Go check it out. I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye! -bye.